Hey everybody, Mrs. Slauson again. So this is for warm up 15. Uh, there is an answer key. You can always check it on Schoology. You can check it out in our week 18 under uh, in the semester two folder. Just look at Wednesday and there will also be an answer key that the sub has and you can just check as you are going through. So most of this is based on our newest type of solving with logs and we're gonna look at a couple problems on the front and then just talk a little bit about the stuff on the back. So my goal is, for instance, like on number one or number four, I only see one log and my goal is to start getting my log alone so I can get that variable alone. And so for instance, on number four, what I'm gonna do is move my addition subtraction first. I'm gonna add one, which leaves the right side now as a negative two. There is no multiplication or division to move that log is not multiplied to the n plus 4. So what I'll want to do is to get to the end now is I'll have to undo the log with an exponent and the base I'll use is a base of 4. Um, those will cancel each other out, the base of 4 and the log base of 4. And so the left side is just left with n plus 4 and the right side is left with 4 to the negative second power which if you type into your calculator gives you this decimal and now to solve for x, I'm just going to simply subtract my 4 to the other side. And when I do that, I get negative 3.9375. So since it is a log problem, I will want to see if I put this back into my argument, does it make that negative? And if you add negative 3.9 whatever to 4, you still have a positive number. So this answer does work. Now, in a problem like, uh, let's say, 2 or 3 or 6, what you're going to notice is that there are multiple logs on the left side. So what we want to do is get rid of those logs. So we're going to condense them down. So for instance, on number 3, when I see 3 plus this, that plus is about to turn into a multiplication sign so I can have my uh, neighbors meet. And so I get 3x squared plus 15. That is the new argument. I can bring the log back. And now I want to start solving for x. So there is no addition, subtraction, to move. The 15's in the parentheses. There is no multiplication or division. That 3 multiplying the x squared is also in the parentheses. So to undo the log, I will make an exponent. And the base I will choose is 2. Well, that doesn't show up. So the left side, sorry, not 2. I don't even know what I'm thinking. The 5. So the 5 and the log 5 cancel out. The right side becomes 5 squared, and I will let you take over here with solving. Um, it will be one type of x, so you can just get x alone. Okay? Um, now on problem 6, you're going to notice the problem is full of logs, but I still need to get the left side down to one log. So ignoring the logs, I'll just look at those arguments. That plus sign again will turn into a multiplication sign. So my new argument is 20x. Bringing that log back. And now what happens is I can just ignore those logs. And then I will let you continue from here on how you solve for x. Just move the 20 over. Okay, so that's like a little bit of everything as far as the logs go. When you get to the back, now you hit your exponent problem. So remember, the main goal is if you could use your exponent table, you should. So like on number 9, there is a row that holds 16 and 64 on my exponent table. It's 4. So 4 to the second power is 16. Make it a negative 2, and now it's 1 over 16 with its original, supposed to be parentheses, exponent. And 4 to the third power is 64. And now I can ignore those bases, and your exponents become the math problem that you need to solve. And I'll let you finish from here. And then, <clears throat> for instance, 11, I first want to get that base and exponent, that e to the n minus 4 alone. So I'm going to divide by 7. And 39 divided by 7, oh, I don't know. <clears throat> Let's see, is uh, not a nice number. So I'm actually just gonna leave it like that. And now, <clears throat> sorry, I had to pause, a little cough there. So now to get to n, I'll want to undo the log. So I'm going to use a log. 
I want to undo the exponent, so I need to use a log. So I'm going to log both sides with the base of E. The log E and the base of E cancel each other out. Um, instead of log E, though, I am going to rewrite it as LN, so I can just use the regular LN button. And at this point, I'm going to leave this up to you to finish solving for N. And then again, you can always check your answer key and your work in week 18 on the Schoology Week at a Glance page. Look under Wednesday, or you can also check with the sub who has the answer key. And those are your videos.